It's 65 degrees here in Pensacola, Florida. Thank you for tuning in to the All Pro Broadcast Network here on Twitch TV. I'm Dustin Caldwell. With me on cameras tonight is Michael D'Amico. And tonight, the Loose Lugnuts League takes on Five Flag Speedway here in Pensacola, Florida. It's the Silver Crown Cars. Drivers are getting ready to go qualifying now. They'll be putting down three of their best lap times here tonight to be able to see where they're going to sit here on the grid here tonight. Coming into tonight's race, if you tuned in last week, we were at Kentucky Motor Speedway, and it was some great race action. 80 laps up there went completely clean from green to checkered. These guys did not lay down one caution. We hope we get the same results here tonight, but we're on a little bit shorter of a track here tonight. Kentucky being a little bit larger of a track, Five Flags is about almost a half mile. It's about four-tenths of a mile track that these drivers will be putting down 100 laps here tonight. So I imagine we're going to see a few cautions here, just letting these drivers get acquainted with one another. We do have some new drivers fielding this race here this evening. But again, folks, we like, as always, appreciate you tuning in here to the All Pro Broadcast Network. We also have a YouTube channel as well as a Facebook page. Check us out there. Just look up All Pro Broadcasting on either of the sites. You'll be able to find it and stay in the know as to when the broadcasts go live. And we love to have some viewership out there and always appreciate people out there in the chats contributing to our broadcast. As the drivers are qualifying tonight, we will let you know coming into tonight's race, your league uh, points leader coming into tonight's race is Matthew Hevener. Followed by Jeffrey Wood and Bob Wells are your top three in points. Travis Zudenema. Dudema, excuse me, was top in points last week, but did not field the uh, Kentucky race like he thought he was going to, and unfortunately came up in the top 10, but that was enough to bump him down as it was only the second race in this race series here. These drivers, looking at what they've got going on, uh, we have some new guys that will show up from time to time, and last week we had a few other drivers that showed up and definitely put down some good times, some good qualifying times. Take a look at some of the qualifying times we got now, right, though, folks. It looks like the 72 of Ray Farlow is your fast time. Looks like he's got a 15-142 on the track, the number six 
of Logan Runyon's right there behind him with a 15 triple two. The 32 of Carl Stallone, new guy fielding here tonight, is running a 15 two five two, good enough for third. Ronald Etheridge, the number 60 car, looks like he's got a 15 three six five, good enough to get him fourth. And Bob Wells, man up there in your series points, top five right now with a 15 four eight six. Race control gave these drivers a good brief beforehand, let them know what they expect, and just some of the uh, inner work of how they loose lug nuts likes to put on their leagues, what the guys can expect as a driver and uh, as their pit crews. And it looks like they are getting closer and closer here to finishing up, about ready to go racing here. Just a final few words from race control. As they are laying it down, laying down the law, as they say. <laughs> uh, give a shout out to Miss Groovy Girl eighty seven out there in the YouTube, or excuse me, our Twitch channel here tonight. Thank you for tuning in and watching. We always appreciate it, and getting some feedback on some of the music that we're using. We love to keep things peppy around here. Want to keep everybody excited about what they're going to see, and got a little bit of a bluegrass. I believe that was Rocky Top. A little bit of bluegrass version of that here tonight. And it looks like they got about a minute remaining in qualifying here tonight. So Ray Farlow, the 72 car, still your fast time, followed by Logan Runyon, Carl Sloan. And now Ryan Kuhn makes his way up in there, and that's Kuhn, K-U-H-N, folks. Uh, practice, he was about 18th, but lays down a qualifying time of 15.312. Good enough to sit him in fourth place. That's going to bump, bump Ronald Etheridge and Bob Wells down a little bit. Wesley Holland, Jeffrey Wood, Thomas Axum, and Dewey Hall are your top 10 here tonight. Travis Zud Zudema, excuse me, get that right, Travis, uh, the number 90 car. He is currently sitting in about 12th position. And again, folks, coming into last week, he was the series points leader and has since kind of fallen off a little bit, but we'll see. we got 100 laps of race action coming at you here tonight at Five Flag Speedway here in Pensacola, Florida. Anything can happen with these drivers once they get going. And you think 100 laps, well, this ain't no Talladega, this ain't no Daytona, folks. This is a four-tenths of a mile track, so 100 laps goes by pretty quick here in these smaller tracks. All right, looks like qualifying has concluded. We're going to go ahead and make our way down to the grid and let you know where these drivers stand, who their sponsors are, and everything here as they're now making their way out to the grid. Let's go ahead and go down there and take a look. And on the grid here tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the 72 of Ray Farlow with that DKR Custom sets the pole tonight with a 15.142. Starting to his outside in that number six car out of Club Ohio, the number six of Logan Runyon with a qualifying time, 15.222. Starting third inside lane, inside of that second row, the 32 of Carl Stallone has yet to make it up to the grid, but his qualifying time here tonight is a 15.252. To the outside, we have Ryan Kuhn, who has yet to make it to the grid, number 20. Qualifying time, 15.312. As we take a look back now, here's the number 60 of Ronald Etheridge. Top five here tonight. Qualifying time, 15.365. To the outside, the number 38. And that loose lug nuts paint scheme, that's Bob Wells. Taking a look back in P number seven, folks. The 04 of Wesley Holland in that neat looking the, uh, paint job there on that with a black and green. Nice looking paint job. To his outside, you got that 64 of Jeffrey Wood and that baby Ruth car. Looking back in position number nine, the number 17, Good Wrench Service. That's Thomas Axum there. And rounding out your top 10, taking a look here to the outside of that row, the number 77 of Dewey Hall. And that it looks like Mountain Dew car down there. Starting in position number 11 on the inside lane, the number 99 with a snap on paint scheme of Matthew Hevener. That, I believe, is your series points leader coming into tonight, folks. Matthew Hevener, number one in points, starting number 11 here tonight. And to his outside, you got that number 90 of Travis Zudema. And he's running the cure for MS down there car. Nice looking paint scheme on that car. Looking at Verilis Falcons with the triple uh, double zero six. That is running that all pro paint scheme there down there. 
To the outside in position number 14, Zach Coyer with a custom wheels paint scheme on his car. As we look back, running that AARP 317, that is Alan Madden there starting in 15th position. The number 9 of Danny Rudy, folks, in that Lennox mobile down there starting in 16th. The series Mr. Loose Lugnuts himself, folks, the number 5 Red Bull of John Hedrick. Followed by Corey Bodnot there in the 34 black and green. You got Jeffrey uh, Conscious in that 63 Hellman's car. 19 cars fielding this track here tonight, folks. It's going to be 100 laps of Silver Crown race action for you. We thank you again for tuning in here to Twitch TV on this Saturday night. We hope you had a great Christmas and looking forward to a great New Year's events coming up. Make sure you want to stay in the know. Check out the website, www.all-pro-racing.com, on Facebook and on YouTube as well for some great racing coming up. As we take a look now, it's going to be Ray Farlow, Logan Runyon up front, taking us to the green of this race, race number three of this series. Pace car is leading them around. Nice looking gold paint scheme there. The pace car now goes into the pits. Here we go, folks. Flag man giving them away with that green flag, and it flies. And they're off to the races here tonight. Ray Farlow already out to a lead heading into turn one. Logan Runyon has that middle group. And a little bit of contact between Coon and Runyon. And Runyon's car goes end over end. My goodness, Logan Runyon, tough break into turn one. And our first caution is out here tonight. He can't be too happy with that. But looking at the damage on it, folks, doesn't look too bad. So we're going to have to key up a replay for you here. Let you take a look at what happened. And you're just going to see Logan Runyon trying to run his groove. And it looks like Ryan Kuhn in that number 60 mobile. Or excuse me, Ronald Etheridge. I apologize, Ryan. That uh, Ronald Etheridge slid up and contact was made. And, and that's the key thing you're going to want to watch out for here tonight, folks. As you're going to see the number 60 car, like, like he did here in this replay, come off of turn one and snap. And you'll see that snap, and he snaps enough to get right up into Logan Runyon, and Logan Runyon snaps and just goes right up into the wall and goes for a ride, end over end for the number six. Tough break there already for the guy who started second. It looks like he's gonna be moving back to the field in position number 18 now. And Carl Stallone as well was caught up in that. Tough break there for those guys. But again, this is 100 laps, anything can happen. They can make their way back up. Short track racing, has its ups and downs and being in the bad end of a wreck is definitely a downer no matter where you're at but you are able to move, move through the field a little bit faster in a shorter track at times so we'll have to see how it'll play out for Logan Runyon and Carl Sloan if they're able to make it back up in the top 10 here tonight again folks this is the Loose Lug Nuts Racing League Silver Crown Racing Series if you're interested in getting in, in a great racing series they also have a Street Stocks League that they put on for Friday nights. Definitely want to check them out on Facebook. Just look up Loose Lug Nuts. You'll be able to see their racing leagues and what they got going on there. And unlike some of the larger tracks where they have about a few, few laps of pacing here tonight, it is 65 degrees. These drivers will be pacing a little bit longer than normal. Due to being a shorter track there, the pace car will be pulling them around the track at about 45 miles an hour, as you see down there. And if you take a look down the cockpit, you'll see this yellow blinking light these drivers have. It lets them know. It's one of the unique things about these Silver Crown cars. It lets them know that the caution has come out and to slow up, to keep going, whatever they need to do to help race control help them. As we take a look down onto the field, the lights have come off that Mustang iRacing pace car. The Silver Crowns begin bunching up here on lap number six. Everybody working back up, and it will be Ray Farlow on the inside group. Ronald Etheridge, who was involved in that caution, will be sitting to the outside. Ryan Kuhn, followed by Wesley Holland and Thomas Axum, are your top five here on lap number six. Pace cars in. Here we go, folks. And the green flag flies, and we're back to the races. There goes Ray Farlow. My goodness, as he take off. And some contact made there with Ryan Kuhn and Ronald Etheridge. And it looks like the caution's going to come back out. 
My goodness, look at this. We'll have to re throw up the replay for you here on what happened exactly. As they were heading back into turn one, and it looks like turn one's going to be the issue here tonight. Some contact, you're going to see in the replay, you're going to be seeing some contact. Ronald Etheridge comes down in to Ryan Kuhn in the number 20 car, gets loose, and th man, he just comes back down and smacks a 17 of Thomas Axum. Thomas Axum's going to go flying. He's going to go down onto the apron, but then rolls back up. And it looks like Travis Zudema is going to connect with him there. And Danny Rudy's going to get caught up. And wow, the 34, John Hedrick gets caught up. And then the pace car is going to go. So a lot of, lot of bump action there, I should say, on the first turn. These drivers are anxious to get going. And these Silver Crown cars take a little bit more time to warm up than typical. Tough break here on the first 10 laps as we've had two cautions already. Not typical of what you would see in the Loose Lug Nuts Racing League. These guys do put on some great racing. Again, folks, last week at Kentucky, they went 80 laps clean. That was from green to checkered, folks. Tonight, I think they just got some anxious drivers out there wanting to get up ahead of everybody. And unfortunately, when you get some anxious nerves on a short track, Cautions are going to fly, and as we've seen here tonight in the first 10 laps, we have two already. I'll give you a top 10 rundown here as it stands. It looks like the 72 of Ray Farlow, still your race leader in the number 20. Ryan Kuhn now makes his way up into second. The 60 of Ronald Etheridge, the man to watch out for so far, involved in two cautions. He is still sitting in third. Wesley Holland in the 0-4 moves up to fourth place. The 64 of Jeffrey Wood takes the top five. Bob Wells, Dewey Hall, Matthew Hevener, Zach Coyer, and Alan Matting now round out your top ten here tonight. Hard Charger looks like it's got to go so far. Dude, I'd say give it to the number 63 of Jeffrey, Jeffrey Cotches. Started 19th, worked his way up into 11th position here tonight. He's running that Hellman's mayonnaise car. Ray Farlow in that DKR Custom, still the man to beat here tonight. Had the pole and has stayed in first ever since. These cars still winding them around the track here at 45 miles an hour. The lights have come off, so we'll be seeing the pace car go in as it does right now. Ray Farlow, Ryan Kuhn, setting the pace. Here we go. Green flag flies, and we're back to the races on lap number 12. And already you can see Ray Farlow. Looks like we got a clean restart this time. Ray Farlow out to the lead. He's going to be running away with it just a little bit. The 20 of Ryan Kuhn right there behind him, though, coming up here across the start finish line, closes the gap. He's three-tenths of a second off your race lead. But look behind the 0-4. Uh, Wesley Holland is now trying to make his way up as Ronald Etheridge has fallen back into fourth position now and looks like the 64 of Jeffrey Wood in that baby Ruth machine trying to gain some positions here. Look at the turn coming into turn number one. Close, close call. Very close call with Ronald Etheridge into West Holland. Almost contact made there as they're making their way out of turn number four coming across the start finish line here. Ronald Etheridge snaps and gets loose. But he's able to maintain it, and it looks like the 64 of Jeffrey Wood is going to go around the number 60 of Ronald Etheridge. And here comes the number 38, folks. Bob Wells making his way up to the number 60 of Ronald Etheridge out of turn four across the start-finish line into turn one. Here comes the 77 of Dewey Hall now trying to make his way up to the 38 of Bob Wells. Some very competitive battles back here in fifth position. Looking back up at the race lead, coming across the start-finish line into turn one. The 72 of Ray Farlow, still your race leader. Right behind him, though, now has moved six-tenths, six-one-hundredths, excuse me, seconds behind the leader is the number 20 of Ryan Kuhn. As we look behind him in third position, coming across the start-finish line into turn one is the 04 of Wesley Holland now, folks. And it looks like Jeffrey Wood has safely made it around the number 60 of Ronald Etheridge. And it looks like Dewey Hall... Dewey Hall and that 77 machine now gets around the 60 of Ronald Etheridge. And we'll be in your top five here on lap number 20. 
Bob Wells, Ronald Etheridge having some issues as he snapped, was involved in the first set of cautions, folks, has now given up a position to Bob Wells, who now moves into sixth position here on lap number 22. Zach Coyer sneaking at the back door there of, it looks like the 15, or Zach Coyer, excuse me, looking up at the back bumper of the 60 of Ronald Etheridge, but Logan Runyon now, this is a gentleman who started second in, in the pole tonight, excuse me, second on the grid. It comes across the start finish line now up into ninth position. Fell as far back as 18th position. He's making his way back up. Climbing with every lap. Lap number 22. He is now sitting at ninth position. Trying to chase down the 15 of Zach Coyer. And we got another caution coming out, folks. My goodness, somebody took a tumble. And it looks like it looks like the 60 of Ronald Etheridge is going to be involved again. I believe we'll have to take a look. Maybe, maybe not. It's a great car down there, so if it's not him... Logan Runyon is going to get collected, but it looks like the 17 of Thomas Axum is going to go for a spin here. We'll have to queue up the replay for you and show you exactly what happened. I believe the 60 of Ronald Etheridge snapped coming off of turn four right by the start finish line. It just comes down into the 17 of Thomas Axum. And since Thomas spending, Logan Runyon gets him a little bit there before turn one. Tough break there. And it looks like, oh, last but not least, folks, the 34 of Co Corey, Corey Bodnot comes spinning there trying to avoid contact and he's going to make contact with the wall right there before turn one. Tough break here already tonight. We're about a quarter way through this race folks and Ray Farlow the 72 is still your race leader. Action packed racing here on the Loose Lug Nuts racing on this Saturday night here at Five Flag Speedway. This is the third race of a six race series. I I believe it said five last week, but I meant to say six. So they will be at Iowa next week. Had a little bit of slight shift in the schedule, but they will be taking on Iowa Speedway next week. It was originally intended for them to be at Iowa this week, but it's due to some scheduling conflicts. There was a little bit of a flip-flop, and they are here tonight. will be in Iowa next week. Again, you are watching the Loose Lug Nuts Racing Silver Crown Series here on Twitch TV. Brought to you in part by the All-Pro Broadcast Network. We hope you're enjoying this. If you are looking to get in a great racing series, want to race some Silver Crowns or maybe some Street Stocks, check out Loose Lug Nuts Racing League on iRacing or on Facebook. These drivers do put on some great racing shows. And as we've seen here tonight, Logan Runyon now, folks, get this. Logan Runyon started second place. Went as deep as 18th place, but now, folks, get this. He's sitting in 7th place on lap number 27. This kid can really drive the wheels off of anything he gets behind the wheel on, <laughs> figuratively. And I tell you what, it's always a pleasure to watch this kid drive out here tonight. He wants he, I know he really wants to put up a good battle there with the 72 of Ray Farlow. And as you can see, 11 positions in just 5 laps. This kid is on the move here tonight. Top five run down as it stands as they're making their way across the start finish line now. Lights have come off that Mustang iRacing pace car. The 72 of Ray Farlow followed by the 20 of Ryan Kuhn, the 04 of Wesley Holland, the 77 of Dewey Hall, and the 64 of Jeffrey Wood. Round out your top five here on lap number 28. This is a 100 lap race here at Five Flags Speedway. Plenty of racing to go. We just got past the quarter portion of the race. Making her way into turn three, the Mustang iRacing pace car going to be set to go into the pits. It'll be Ray Farlow, Ryan Kuhn. Here goes the pace car into the pits. And already the 72 of Ray Farlow flag, catches the number 20 of Ryan Kuhn sleeping. And look at him go away. Wow, did he get an electric restart. And it looks like Ryan Kuhn has to wake up a little bit as there's the 04 Wesley Holland now contesting for second position. Here comes the 77 of Dewey Hall. Across the start finish line, going to be Dean third as he was battling hard there with the 0 4 of Wes Holland. Ray Farlow, the man to beat, and what a restart he got. Caught everybody asleep at the wheel and has exploded to almost a one second lead over the 20 of Ryan Kuhn. Wesley Hall back there in third position, battling hard with Dewey Hall coming across the start finish line this time around as they come out of turn number four. Here they come down the front stretch. And it looks like Dewey Hall is now going to be Dean third position. And look at the battle brewing here. Logan Runyon in the number six Silver Crown car makes his way down the back straightaway, contending 
for fifth position as he is right there by the 0-4 of Wes Holland. And the 64 of Jeffrey Wood sneaking up in there in position number five now has to contend with the number six of Logan Runyon as he is in sixth position. And he gets loose! Oh my goodness, the 64 of Jeffrey Wood, that baby roof car gets loose coming out of turn four. And the number six of Logan Runyon makes his way up to fourth position before now the caution flag flies and we're going to have to go and see what happened. And I think this wreck is going to be a doozy here right at the start finish line. I think somebody snapped a little bit hard coming off of turn four. Looks like it might have been the 99 of Matthew Hevener, your series points leader coming into tonight. Got on the apron right by pit entrance, folks. Snaps up, and you're going to see the 38 of Bob Wells right there behind him. I think that's going to, we're going to rule that one a net code. And that, for you viewers out there who don't understand net code, it's when the computer software reads contact, even though you might not see it, but the software reads as contact. And therefore, that's what happened between Bob Wells getting into the back left tire of the 99 of Matthew Hevener, sending Matthew spiraling up into the wall. They both wreck out, putting the 99 up on its side. And then we're going to see the 006 of Verlis Falcons come smashing right into the 99 of Hevener, sending him flying across the start-finish line. And again, the 34 of Corey Bodnot trying to avoid contact is going to hit the wall. And I tell you what, folks, save this one for the books. My goodness, the 99 of Matthew Hevener goes flying over the pit wall and is just sitting there on pit wall. My goodness. Tough break there for that car. Number 99 of Matthew Hevener. And it looks like we have some pitting action going on, though, in the meantime. Just want to let you know tonight they're coming into this race with a 20% fuel limit. As we saw at Kentucky, they were able to get about 20 laps before they had to come in and pit. And tonight, it looks like it's going to be about 35 to 37 laps before they decide to make the pit stops. As we see Ray Farlow had made his way into the pits, is now back out. A little bit of gas and go. So that's going to leave the 20 of Ryan Kuhn as your race leader. We'll have to see what he does. As this time around, the pace car is coming around with these guys. Down the back straightaway into turn number three. Will Coon decide to pit this time around? We'll have to see. Maybe he'll stay out. We'll have to see what will happen here. There's pit entrance. Does he stay out? Yes, he will. Looks like the 20 of Ryan Coon will be staying out. As the 72 of Ray Farlow has fresh set of tires. So as we see the Mustang iRacing pace car come around, the lights have come off. We will be set to go green on lap number 40, folks, of this 100-lap race here at Five Flags. This is the Loose Lug Nuts Racing Silver Crown Series here tonight. And it looks like it'll be Ryan Coon and Dewey Hall. Two guys that have battled very hard here tonight. Up in the deserving of the first and second position so far in this race. Battling it out. Alan Maddening there in third. Jeffrey Cotchis in fourth. That'll be your front four. The Mustang I Racing pace car into the pits. And there goes the 20 of Ryan Coon. Taking some notes there from the 72 of Ray Farlow, able to get out ahead of the race lead. My goodness, look at him go. He's making his way down the back straightaway. He is your race leader now. Commanding lead, Alan Maddening in the AARP 317 machine is there up in second. Here he comes across the start finish line into turn one. And look at Ronald Etheridge now making his way back up. With Logan Runyon there right behind him. Looking up high, you've got the 63 of Jeffrey Conscious in that Hellman 63 car. Bob Wells right there beside Logan running up and high. There's the 72 of Ray Farlow making his way around now. Trying to get back up after he, after he made a pit stop. Ryan Kuhn, though, really running away with it at 1.3 second lead over the 77 of Dewey Hall, who's sitting in second right now coming across the start-finish line. There you see the 317, some slow bit of spacing now between your front three cars. And it looks like we're going to have another caution come out here. Close to the halfway point of this race here tonight, folks. And it looks like it's going to be the 04 of West Holland. As we look to line up a replay camera for you. And as you see, he's going to rub the wall heading into turns number three. 
and just going to spin out there across the apron. So no harm, no foul. Probably one of the cleaner cautions we've had tonight. Tough break there trying to get these tires rubbed into the groove. And West Holland will bring out the third caution here tonight. We are going to move to a short commercial break since we are close to the halfway point of this race. When we come back, we're going to have some more racing action. I want to thank you for tuning in here to Twitch tonight to watch the Loose Lug Nuts Silver Crown Racing League. I'm Dustin Caldwell on camera's Michael D'Amico. We will be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we are back to the green here on the Silver Crown Racing Series here tonight at Five Flags Speedway. And while we were at commercial break, it looks like Ryan Kuhn is able to sustain his race lead, getting a good restart. Out to about a half a second lead over the 77 of Dewey Hall as he makes his way across the halfway point now. We have completed 50 laps so far this time around. And one lead change here tonight. We've had four cautions here. Best longest run we've had it was about 20 laps before a caution came out. Top five run down as it stands now. You got the number 20 of Ryan Kuhn, followed by the 77 of Dewey Hall, the 72 of Ray Farlow, who's led about 34 laps of this race here tonight, is sitting in third. Logan Runyon and made his way back up into fourth. You got Ronald Etheridge currently sitting in your top five here tonight. As we take a look, Ryan Kuhn is ever extending his lead now. He's battling really hard about half a second to six tenths of a second. And it looks like another caution is going to fly here tonight. That's the fifth one here tonight. Let's go reel up the replay and see what, exactly what may have happened. And I hate to say it, folks. It looks like it's going to be the 17 of Thomas Axum involved in this one. As he comes across the start finish line, you're going to see in the replay here. He's going to get really low and just make some contact with the wall. Tough break there. It looks like a couple other drivers are going to get involved. It looks like the 38. 38 of Bob Wells is going to make some contact there with him. He's just going to go spiraling up close to the catch fence. Danny Rudy and John Hedrick both able to avoid that incident. 
And that's going to put him down on the apron. Tough break there for the 17 of Thomas Axum. The top five summary as it stands, folks. Taking a look at it. It looks like it's Ryan Kuhn still, followed by Dewey Hall, Ray Farlow, Logan Runyon, and Ronald Etheridge are your top five here tonight. And again, folks, man we talk about is the six of Logan Runyon. Started second here tonight, got involved in the, the very first turn of this race, was a caution with a 60 of Ronald Etheridge. Sending him back to about 18th position, has dug his way back up in the, about 45 laps since preceded, or proceeded since then. And made his way back up into the top four. So you got to give some credit there to the number six of Logan Runyon. What a drive by that kid here tonight. Making his way back up. Good, good racecraft from the number six team. Sure he's going to be pretty happy with where he stands so far. Maybe he might even make a podium finish. Who knows? We still got plenty of racing going on here tonight. They are on lap number 57. We got about 44 laps remaining in the race here tonight. These guys will be taking on Iowa next week. Always a great track to watch as he came off last week at Kentucky. Again, folks, if you're just tuning in, last week at Kentucky, these guys put down 80 laps with no cautions. So great racing that does go on here in the Loose Lug Nuts Racing Series. And they do have a Friday night street stock series if you're ever interested in racing some street stocks or silver crowns. These guys put on some great racing. They've had a wheelman series, they've had late model series, all different types of racing that they put on. So just check them out on Facebook, on iRacing, however you want to do it. Check them out. These are some guys that have some great races that go on. As we see now, the lights have come off the pace car. It is Ryan Kuhn, Dewey Hall up front, followed by Ray Farlow, Logan Runyon are being front four. Taking us back green, here they come into turn number three. The pace car will be set to go into the pits. And Dewey Hall better be on his gun because that 20 of Ryan Coon is going to go exploding. Here we go. And a green flag flies. Green and flag, there goes flag. the 20 of Ryan Coon already. And it looks like Dewey Hall was asleep at the wheel. But Ray Farlow, the, the, ma the man who led, is going to make his way up possibly into second. Caution flag flies again here tonight. And, oh, look at this, folks. It looks like it's the six of Logan Runyon and Ronald Etheridge again. This is a foreshadowing window that happened early on. Logan Runyon comes down. This time, got a little bit of flip-flop action. As we look at the replay, you're going to see the six of Logan Runyon come down into the 60 of Ronald Etheridge, and they're both going to go spinning out. Tough break as Logan Runyon made his way back. Up as high as fourth position. And it looks like he's going to fall back to about position number 11 now. We got about 40 laps remaining in this race. Let's see if we can get a little bit of driver interview going on right now. See if we can get Ryan Kuhn here in the number 20 car to give us his thoughts on the race. As we take a look at the radio, let's see if we can get Ryan Kuhn on the line. Ryan Kuhn, this is Dustin Caldwell in the booth. Are you there? Yes, I am. What a race it's panned out for you, buddy. You started fourth here tonight. Currently worked your way up into P number one. Some hard-fought battles there with Dewey Hall, Ray Farlow. and Any any thoughts on the race as it's going so far? Any concerns with having the 72 there behind you? I can tell you one thing. Ray's really quick. I don't know if I can hold him off here. Uh, I, I have a lot of confidence in myself, but Ray, Ray's just really quick. He's a good driver, and... Uh, I heard he's been doing pretty good in uh, sprint cars too. I've heard he's been doing pretty good in those too. Uh, this is actually my first ever start in these things. I've never driven these things before and uh, that's pretty fun. So this is your first time in a Silver Crown car ever? Yes. Wow. And look at that folks and there you go. A prodigy in the making. The number 20 of Ryan Kuhn. We'll let you get back to it here. As your Looks like you got a few more laps before you go back green. Any quick shout outs though before we let you go? Uh, one thing I feel bad about my teammate getting wrecked out early, Thomas Axum. I feel really bad for that. I got a, we got our own team going, sort of. So I feel bad for him. All right, buddy. Well, best of luck to you in the remainder of this race here. Thank you. There you have it, folks. The number 20 of Ryan Kuhn. Thoughts on his race as he's got a tall order to fulfill with 38 laps remaining in this race. He's going to have to hold off the 72 of Ray Farlow as now you're going to see Logan Runyon's going to get the lucky dog get a wave around as he goes by the pace car the lights have come off the pace car 
usually how it works there with race control giving the lucky dog to the driver there with one lap remaining he will be at full throttle when these guys go back green as they make their way down the back straightaway towards turn number three Ryan Coon, Ray Farlow that's gonna be interesting these both have had great restarts here tonight and we'll have to see how it'll play out. Here we go, folks. Get up on your feet. This is going to be the restart to watch here tonight. Pace car into the pits. Here we go. The 20. Look at him go. Ryan Coon showing up the master himself. The 72 of Ray Farlow, but he is not fooled. And here comes the 72 of Ray Farlow hunting down that 20. Look at the move of the 72 catching it, closing the gap. Ray Farlow not going to go quietly into this night. Has been a little bit lower ever since he made the pit stop there a few laps back. But he is now hunting back down the race lead. Ryan Kuhn now, this time around, will have led 32 laps of this race. Pretty much matching the 34, close to the 34 that Ray Farlow had led in this race. We have 34 laps remaining in the race here tonight. Here they come, folks, heading into turn number three. It's a battle for the ages. The David versus the Goliath, Ray Farlow been race champion many a times here tonight and as you heard the 20 of Ryan Coon fielding the first time tonight ever in a silver crown car and look at this kid drive he is driving the wheels off of that car trying to maintain a lead we have 33 laps 32 this time around and looks like the 20 of Ryan Coon is gonna try to fend off the 72 of Ray Farlow but any veteran driver will tell you you'd rather be chasing than leading because he is gonna wait for the perfect time that Ryan may make a mistake and just get back up into that race lead. Let's take a look back into third position now as Dewey Hall is one and a half Dylan seconds off down. the race lead. And another caution flag flies here tonight. My goodness. Another caution flag flies. Ever extending the chance that Ryan Kuhn could win the race here tonight. Seven cautions so far with 30 laps remaining in the race. Let's queue up the replay and see exactly what happened. I think it's going to be the 006 possibly. Burles Falcons may be involved in this. As we take a look at that All Pro paint scheme come around, and there's some contact ahead of it. Looks like the 38 folks of Bob Wells may have got into the 04 of Wesley Holland, and just a little bit of contact made there. We'll have to see if we can get the replay on Bob Wells. Bob Wells was coming around the towards the turn. And it looks like the 04 of West Holland now just uh, snapped up into the wall down the back or the start finish line. As he come across the start finish line, got in the wall, and wow, did that car go for a ride up in the air a little bit. And it looks like Bob Wells made some contact with him, and the 04 West Holland bringing out the seventh caution here tonight. Well, as we take a look back now, folks, the 20 of Ryan Kuhn, call him the David of the evening, taking on the Goliath, the 72 of Ray Farlow, guy that's no shy man to victory lane. He's been in there more times than not. And I think he's going to give him a little bit of pressure there on the 20, showing him that he's there. What a race it's been. If we can get somebody on the line here for you, folks. Let's see if we can go to get Ray on the line for you. We're looking for that 72 of Ray Farlow. Are you there, Ray? Yeah, I'm here. Well, Ray, we're, we're calling you the Goliath of the evening. You got a new new up-and-comer, the 2020 of Ryan Coon ahead of you. you. You've had some great races, led about 34 laps of this race. You made a pit stop. You've cut your way through the field back up into second position. Got anything for this rookie here tonight? I don't know. I thought to start with him, Mike, but as that last run went on, he began to pull away a little bit. Um, I ain't giving up. I'm still going to gonna try to get it. All right. Anybody you want to give a shout-out to there, bud? Yeah, everybody over on my team, uh, Short Track Sim Racers, uh, DKR Customs, and everybody's putting, putting on this show. All right, well, we see the lights have come off that pace car. We'll let you go, buddy, and good luck to you in the remainder of the 26 laps of this race. All right, thank you. There you have it, folks. There's the 72 of Ray Farlow. Going to be tough for the 20 to fend them off. 26 laps to go. They're making their way down that back straightaway towards turn number three. Ryan Kuhn going to be the man to watch to see if he can edge out 
the 72 of Ray Farlow. Here we go. Pace car set to go into the pits. There it goes. Oh, will he catch him sleeping? What a Ray move. Here Ray comes Ray. the 20 of Ryan Coon. Sets the pace, but there is the 72 of Ray Farlow. Wow, and Dewey Hall. He wipes the nose of the 77 of Dewey Hall. Ray Farlow not going to go quiet again. Here they go towards turns three and four, making their way down the front stretch. Here they come, and it's a battle again for the race lead. The 20 of Ryan Coon trying to hold off the 72 of Ray Farlow, and again we have another caution fly here tonight. Oh, my goodness. Frustrating night there. Got to be for the 72 of Ray Farlow. And it looks like Ronald Etheridge is going to be in this one again. Taking a look, he's going to come out of turn number three. And get loose and go spinning across the start finish line. And wow, look at the damage on the front of that number 60 machine here. He has really crunched the front end of that car up this time around. Ray F Ronald Etheridge, excuse me, is four laps down at this point here tonight. Been involved in a few cautions. Tough break there for the number 60 machine. We'll go ahead and give you a top five rundown here with 22 laps remaining in the race here tonight. The number 20 of Ryan Coon, still your race leader, followed by the 72 of Ray Farlow, the 77 of Dewey Hall, the 64 of Jeffrey Wood, and now the 6 of Logan Runyon are your top five. And uh, seeing Logan Runyon had the tough break tonight, being involved in a couple of cautions, has made his way back up. Hopefully he's going to be up there on the podium. He's working his way through the field, so we're kind of... Trying to give a shout out for that guy to see if he can make his way back up. Let me take a look out there. Everybody giving their opinions on the race here tonight. We want to thank you for tuning in here to the Twitch TV on the All Pro Broadcast Network. This is the Loose Lug Nuts Racing Series, Silver Crown Saturday Series. They do run street stocks on Friday nights. If you're an iRacer, check them out. The Loose Lug Nuts Racing League on iRacing. Or check them out on Facebook. Just look up Loose Lug Nuts. You'll be able to see the Racing League series. Contact John Hedrick, the guy, the guy behind it all, who uh, and Jeff Wood as well. They are race admins here for this series. We take a look now. Twenty-one laps remaining. We're getting into the critical point here of the race. The final twenty laps. Will the number twenty have enough in the tank? Enough grip on the tires to take him all the way to victory lane. He has led now 46 laps of this 100-lap race here tonight. Ray Farlow led early on 34 laps of the race. And that's the only lead leaders we've had. So one lead change here tonight, folks. One lead change in the 81 laps that we've gone here tonight. Pretty impressive here at a short track. Especially with all the hard-fought battles. A lot of the hard-fought battles here tonight started in third position and back. And Dewey Hall in that 77 machine has been battling hard and has well-deserved his way up to third position. Here we go. The lights have come off that pace car. They're making their way out of turn number two towards the back straightaway. We'll see if the number 20, Ryan Coon, can hang, hang on and get the 72 of Ray Farlow here tonight. Here they go. Pace car is set to go into the pits. As they're making their way into turns three and four. Pace car into the pits. Here we go. Oh, and Ryan Coon right, takes right. off. But right there is the 72 of Ray Farlow. Ready to go. Here we go. 18 laps remain in the race here tonight. And oh, Dewey Hall had to check up just a little bit as he got really close to the 72 of Ray Farlow. And Ray Farlow coming really close to hitting the wall there. Here they come down the front straightaway into turn number one. Ryan Coon, still your race leader, battling hard. He's getting really close to that apron heading into turn number two. But here he comes, coming into turn number three now. And look at Ray Farlow move, putting pressure on the rookie here tonight. Look at this battle, and Ray Farlow wants to get in that race lead. He said he might have something for him. We'll see if it'll pan out here, folks. 16 laps remain in the race here tonight. And look at this battle up front. It is a battle for the ages. Coming across the start finish line into turn number one. Just hitting his marks. Ryan Coon trying to hold off the 72 of Ray Farlow. Logan Runyon now, the guy we talked about a lot here tonight, has made his way up into third position. Edging out the 77 of Dewey Hall. And here we go into turn number one. Again, the number 20 of Ryan Coon still holding off the 72 of Ray Farlow. My goodness. Only a tenth of a second separate the two here tonight. 
Logan Runyon trying to do what he can to race up there, having a little bit of connection issues as he is blinking just a little bit. Here we go, looking at back up at the race lead, the number 20 of Ryan Kuhn still holding off the 72 of Ray Farlow. And 13 laps, but it'll be 12 this time around as they now cross the start-finish line. And a little bit of looseness there from the 20. He got a little bit loose coming across that start-finish line, and that's what the 72 wants to see. A one little mistake there from the 20, and the 72 may be taking the victory here tonight. And here they come, come with side by side, close to the start-finish line. Here comes lap traffic. It's the 60 of Ronald Etheridge, the man who has been in a few cautions here tonight. Did not pose the problem there for the 20 of Ryan Kuhn as he's able to make it away around him. And here comes the 72 of Ray Farlow around him. And now, folks, we're getting close to that 10 laps remaining mark. Logan Runyon now in the picture. He's caught up to the bumper close enough to the 72 of Ray Farlow. And it is going to be interesting to see the last five laps of this race. Logan Runyon now up to third position. Dewey Hall is about one and a half seconds off of D Ryan Kuhn at this point. Oh, and we may have another caution. It looks like Jeffrey Wood It's just going to escape by Zach Coyer. Who Zach Coyer got a little bit of spin, but the caution's not going to fly. Ooh, this is going to get interesting, folks. One caution could have sealed the deal for the number 20. As he makes his way around, turns three and four. Here he comes out of turn number four to the start finish line. Not er, Seven laps now remain in the race. Ryan Kuhn, still your race leader. Led about 59 laps as he comes around to the start finish line. And now he's starting to pull away. Oh, this is interesting. He's pulling away from the 72. Here comes the six of Logan Runyon. Going to try to get around the 72 of Ray Farlow. And he will do it. With six laps remaining, the number six of Logan Runyon moves into second position, trying to hunt down the number 20 of Ryan Kuhn. Folks, tonight, Ryan Kuhn, as we talked to him, he fielded the Silver Crown for the first time ever here tonight, and it's going to be a monumental event if he's able to take home the victory in this 100-lap race. But here comes Logan Runyon now, edging away from the 72 of Ray Farlow, hunting down the number 20. Oh, this could be bittersweet for Logan Runyon. Starting second here tonight, been as low as 18th, been pushed back to 11th, and made his way back up now, sitting in second position. Will he have what it takes? Three laps remaining in the race here tonight at Five Flag Speedway, and here comes the number six. He is ever so gaining on the 20 lap traffic. That's the zero, that's the zero zero six, I believe, of Ver Verlis Falcons, who hits the wall. Oh, he goes spinning, and that is going to seal the deal, folks. Caution flag flies, and what an amazing finish to this race. As given another two laps, we may have a photo finish with the 6 of Logan Runyon and the 20 of Ryan Kuhn. Wow, what a finish to the race. I think the 006 of Verlis Falcons had a little bit of pressure seeing the leader was trailing them down and may have looked too much in the rearview mirror and not enough at the track and ended up into the wall my goodness folks what a finish to this race heartfelt for the number six of logan runyon ray farlow will finish in third dewey hall fourth west holland will round out your top five we're going to take a short commercial break when we come back we will have some conclusion ceremonies here at five flags don't go anywhere we will be right back
Welcome back, folks, to Five Flags Speedway. What a race it was here tonight. Ryan Coon, the number 20, takes victory. Logan Runyon, hard-fought battle. Didn't look like he moved at all in position. Started second, finished the second. But it'll been a tough night for the number six. The 72 of Ray Farlow will finish out third here tonight. Great, great racing taking place here tonight. Even though, as we take a look at some of the summary here tonight, we had 10 cautions here tonight. One lead change, though, folks. One lead change was all it took for the number 20 of Ryan Coon to take the victory here tonight. We are going to now move to the third place finisher, the 72 of Ray Farlow, who we talked to in a few, one of the few cautions that we had here tonight. Thought he may have had something there for the 20 of Ryan Coon, was not able to do so. So, looks like, Ray, you finished third here tonight. Tell us if you could take us back to the little bit of 10 laps remaining. You were up in second, trying to, it looked like you were going to chase down the 20, then you kind of fell off a little bit, and then looks like you had a little bit of battle there with the six of Logan running. Yeah, I, did, I just overdrove it, you know, after that caution, uh, trying to get by him, um, and just used my stuff up, and Logan, he was able to get by me. I thought he might have a shot at winning this thing. Yeah, unfortunately, though, you know, you started first here tonight. But you led pretty much, I think, about the first 34 laps of this race, and then it was that pit stop that ever haunted you coming back out of, I believe, in about 6th or 7th position. But you're able to get back here up onto the podium. you got to be happy with your where you finish. As we take a look coming into tonight, you were kind of a little bit down there, I believe, in points. But you, you're going to bring something to Iowa next week? Yeah, I hope so. This is uh, the first time running with this league, and... I'll definitely be back. I had fun. And tell us, tell us for the viewers out there who are wondering, how does this car handle compared to a sprint car? It's a lot tighter. So we know, we know you're you are the man to beat. I believe in the official series there for sprint cars, and I know you do a lot of good work in other racing series as well. But uh, it's a pleasure getting to watch you race here tonight. I deemed you the Goliath here on the Silver Crowns. <laughs> Was wanting to see you come back and pull it off and put something on for the 20 of Ryan Kuhn, but. Looks like the kid uh, has a lot for you tonight, and fortunately, have to go out there next week and uh, see if you can run him down next week. Yep, we'll try. All right, well, pleasure talking to you, Ray, and pleasure watching the race here tonight. We'll see you next week, bud. All right, thank you. That was a 72 of Ray Farlow coming in third place here tonight. What a race it was. It doesn't look like we're not going to be able to get a uh, interview there with the six of Logan Runyon as he has some technical difficulties. Hard fought battle. Can't say enough about that car. Again, folks, he started second here tonight. Involved early on in the first uh, turn of the race. Got into the 60 of Ronald Etheridge. Was pushed from there all the way back to 18th place. 20 laps later, he worked his way up into the top six. Got involved in another caution again here tonight. Pushed back to 11th position, made his way back up, and finishing second here tonight. So good job there done by the six of Logan Running. We look forward to seeing you next week as well. As I know they run it, uh, Ray Farlow and Logan running a lot of series together. So where you find one, you might find the other. And these two guys definitely put on a good show here tonight. Well, enough said about the other drivers. Let's move our way up to the race winner here tonight. Deemed the, the David taking on Ray Farlow, the Goliath, Ryan. You know, bittersweet victory there. I, I know you got to be happy to see that late caution come out as Logan Runyon was running you down with about three laps to go. Oh, yeah, that was a tough race there. Uh, I think if you had a couple more laps there, Logan would have definitely got me. He would have caught me and just blown right by me, no no doubt. But uh, that was a fun race. I, before this, I didn't even think I was going to run this race. And, uh, I said, yeah, Thomas said he was going to join it, and so I, I said, you know, I'll just join it anyways, and I probably won't win, just ride around, and next thing you know, I'm running second, and then Ray pitted there, and then next thing you know, I'm leading, I said, hey, Tom, I can win this thing, so I, I can't believe, <laughs> I honestly can't believe I won, that was pretty so this, cool. And, and reiterate for the viewers out there in Twitch, this is your first time ever racing in a Silver Crown car. Yes, sir, it is. It was, <laughs> so, it's tough. Good reason to call you the David here tonight, definitely. Some good job, some good driving out there from that number 20 car, man. He, impressive, impressive to come out and lead the field and, you know, to lead about, I think it was 63 laps, 64 laps of this race here tonight. 
you led and uh, only leading the one lead change and it was enough for you to be able to take victory here tonight any any hints of what we can expect next week when we go to Iowa uh, I can tell you one thing if Ray's there he'll be fast Logan will be fast there uh, I don't know if I'm, I'll be running next week but uh, it could be a slight chance well we hope to see you definitely if you're coming off a of victory you gotta want to keep that momentum going forward don't want to call it have people saying it's the luck of the draw that new guy comes out and wins on the race so you definitely got to I think you got a title to defend, you know, coming in the next week. So we hopefully we'll see you there. Any final shout outs you'd like to give for our viewers? Uh, I'd like to say thanks to 1372 Racing, uh, Modern Auto Body, my main sponsor for real life. And uh, I think I got another race tomorrow night. Uh, hopefully we can go to Victory Lane in that one too. That'd be nice. It's a huge money race. Uh, Daytona Trucks, uh, 100 laps. Pretty, pretty good. It'll be a pleasure to see that. We'll definitely have to uh, that in mind as well. But hopefully next week we will see you in that race as they'll take on Iowa. And then you get New Smyrna in two weeks. So a few, few races remain in this series. And we'll have to see how this will play out. Though Congratulations again to your victory here tonight, folks. It's the 20 of Ryan Coon. All right, folks, as we take a look, again, we will be at Iowa next week, next Saturday night on January 2nd, taking on Iowa Speedway. The Silver Crown cars will be there. It looks like it's going to be another 100-lap race there, and that'll be interesting to see how that'll play out. Let's follow in two weeks. We'll be back for another 100-lapper on the 9th. Uh, New Smyrna will conclude this series. And I apologize, I'll correct myself here. I said it was a six-race series. I was right the first time. It was a five-race series. I do apologize for that. But yes, this is a five-race series. So it looks like uh, we'll have to see how the points will shake out. We'll have that for you next week. At any time, you are able to check out the Loose Lug Nuts Racing League on iRacing.com or on Facebook. Just look up Loose Lug Nuts Racing Series. Again, they do have a Friday night street sock series if you're ever interested in getting on that. But this is their Silver Crown Saturday Nights. And we want to thank them for being able to let us come out here and broadcast their race series. Again, you are watching the All Pro Broadcast Network. We thank you for tuning in here tonight on Twitch. Typically, you might find us on other means such as YouTube. But uh, All Pro Broadcasting and their racing league, you can find them on the web, www.all-pro-racing.com. Facebook, just look up All Pro Racing. YouTube and Twitch, look up All Pro Racing. You're able to find them there as well. But that will do it for us here tonight at Five Flags. It was the 20 of Ryan Kuhn, the the ever so acquainted David rookie taking the wheel for the first time here tonight. Coming away with the victory, Logan Runyon will take second. 72 of Ray Farlow will take third. Dewey Hall in fourth, and Wes Holland will take out your top five here tonight. Again, folks, we will be back next week at Iowa, but right now we want to thank you for tuning into the All Pro Broadcast Network. I'm Dustin Caldwell. On cameras with me is Michael D'Amico. Until next Saturday night, folks, keep it safe, and we'll see you.
in the open road.